right, so today we're going to take a look at a website called Only2Clicks.com, and Only2Clicks lets you set up a really, really easy start page. And uh, let me show you what I mean. So first of all, you can create a free account, or if you have one already, you can sign in. So I'm just going to sign in, and we'll see you in a second. All right, so here's my Only2Clicks page that I've created. You'll notice on the top that I have it broken down by tabs. I can have one tab for Web Tools Spotlight, then another tab for more Web Tools, a third, a fourth, and if I wanted to, create even a fifth. Really, really easy to edit these tabs and add links. So very, very simply, I'm going to go over here to go to Add Link. And this is where the only two clicks comes from, so I'm going to add a link. I have to give it a couple of things. So for instance, the first thing is I need a display name. So for me, um, let's say I put in Edutecker, and over here I give it the address, and if I wanted to, I can upload my own image and I can give notes to it. So I could say, um, you know, <laughs> great resource for teachers and students. Okay, and I submit. What it does is it very, very quickly adds that page and it takes a snapshot. So over here you can see it's took a snapshot of actually the old home page. Um, and all of these are, are snapshots of the what the site looks like. It's a great way for students to visually say, oh, that's the site I want to go to, without having to read through a lot of the uh, description that perhaps you've put into uh, another link. Very, very easy to do. Um, if I don't want it, I can click on the X and get rid of it. It'll say, you sure you want to get rid of it? And I'll say, yes, please. And there it is, gone. Okay, so you notice what you see is instead of getting a you know a long URL, for instance, my story maker has a very long URL. Here I just have the descriptive text my story maker. When I click on it, it takes me to that page. Now I can edit these in retrospect, so I can go over here and either copy them to a different tab, I can move them to another place, or I can also edit it, which means edit of course the description, or I could even force a thumbnail update. Very, very cool stuff. So let's go to submit. Now, the nice thing about this is that I can also go to add a link over here and I can choose a couple of different options. For instance, let's say I wanted to go to search box. I can choose any one of these particular searches. Let's say I want to do a Wolfram Alpha search. Okay. Now, all they have to do is type something in here so I can go 2 plus 2 and go and it brings me that in Wolfram Alpha, which is pretty cool. It does the same thing for Google, YouTube, and all sorts of other places as well very very easy very robust now the really nice thing about this is that you can very easily create a home page uh, link so over here what I'm gonna do is go over to my profile and it says choose your web address and I can actually change the address over here enter in um, any descriptive text I'd like so for instance only two clicks dot com slash pages slash my website is a great place to, for your students to go and get all of these links that are available. In order to make the links available to them, what you would have to do is, let me just get out of my profile, what you would have to do is go over to share this category and make sure that that's checked. Now, um, the only other thing you can do over here is sort things alphabetically, so I can just click on that. I can change the order, most recently added, the first added, so it's very, very easy to use. There is also an iPhone interface, so you can use a mobile interface for this as well. And that way you can take all your bookmarks with you, not have to worry about subscription sites um, or worry about things like Delicious or Dig where you have to tag things or, or Deco. Um, what I love about this is it's very easy to share with your students. It's a great place for them to go, perhaps as a, as a start page, that they can click on different exercises. So instead of me myself having these as web tools, perhaps math, English, science, social studies, or however you want to break it up in your class is a great way to have them have access to the websites you choose very quickly. So that's only2clicks.com. Check it out. It's a great site.